Good evening. I'm Dr. Yusuf, consultant in internal medicine at Continental Hospitals, Hyderabad. As the world struggles to fight with COVID-19, we have never been more aware of the importance of our and our loved ones' health. But do you know the fact that cardiovascular disease remains the world's number one killer? On this World Heart Day, I would like to briefly speak on heart attack. Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death globally. An estimated 17.9 million people died from cardiovascular diseases in 2019, representing 32% of all global deaths. Of these deaths, 85% were due to heart attack. The world's biggest killer is ischemic heart disease. Since 2000, the largest increase in deaths has been for this disease, rising by more than 2 million 8.9 million deaths in 2019. In accordance with the World Health Organization, India accounts for one-fifth of these deaths worldwide, especially in younger population. In India, in 2016, cardiovascular diseases contributed to 28.1% of total deaths and 14.1% of total disability adjusted life years, compared with 15.2% and 6.9% respectively in 1990. Myocardial infarction, commonly known as heart attack, usually occurs when the coronary blood flow decreases abruptly after a thrombotic occlusion of a coronary artery previously affected by atherosclerosis. To explain it in simple terms, a heart attack occurs when a blood vessel that supplies blood to the heart is blocked. This reduction in blood flow will reduce the amount of oxygen supply to the heart. Lack of oxygen supply to the heart muscles will damage the heart muscle and the heart may stop functioning, leading to heart attack. Hypertension and diabetes are the two most important and powerful risk factors for heart attack. What are the other lifestyle factors responsible for heart attack? An individual is at a higher risk of having a heart attack if he has the following risk factors. High cholesterol levels, a strong family history of heart disease, smoking tobacco, excess intake of alcohol, substance abuse, being obese, physical inactivity, or having a sedentary lifestyle, having an unhealthy diet, and a lot of stress. So let's discuss what are the signs and symptoms of a heart attack. Chest pain is a typical and most common presenting complaint. The pain is deep and visceral. The common adjectives used to describe it are heavy, squeezing kind of pain and crushing pain, although occasionally it is described as a stabbing or burning type of pain as well. This discomfort can extend or radiate to the arms, neck, jaw, or back. And it is often accompanied by weakness, sweating, shortness of breath, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, anxiety, and a sense of impending doom. The pain may commence when the patient is at rest, but when it begins during a period of exertion, it does not usually subside with cessation of activity, in contrast to angina pectoris. Sometimes the pain is not uniformly present in patients with heart attack. The proportion of painless heart attack, what we call it as the silent heart attack, is greater in patients with diabetes mellitus and it increases with age. Other less common presentations with or without pain include sudden loss of consciousness, a confusional state, a sensation of profound weakness, the appearance of arrhythmia, which is an irregular heart rhythm, or merely an unexplained drop in the blood pressure. A typical patient is usually anxious and restless, attempting unsuccessfully to relieve the pain by moving about in bed or altering the position and stretching. The patient may appear pale and may, there may be associated perspiration and he may develop cold extremities. Always remember, 
a combination of chest pain persisting for more than 30 minutes and diaphoresis strongly suggests a heart attack clinically. If you or any one of your near and dear ones experience the above mentioned symptoms, please rush to the nearby hospital, which is well equipped with managing a cardiac emergency. In my practice, I have not just seen a young son bring his old father with a heart attack to the hospital, but also I have seen an old father bringing his young son with a heart attack. Yes, times have changed. What should be done to protect your heart to prevent the heart attack? Cardiovascular diseases can be prevented by addressing the behavioral risk factors such as tobacco use, unhealthy diet and obesity, physical inactivity, and harmful use of alcohol. It is important to detect cardiovascular disease as early as possible so that management with counseling and medicines can begin. One can also reduce the risk by making positive changes to the lifestyle. And something which is of importance is taking your medications as prescribed, attending your follow-up appointments, and controlling your high blood pressure. Excess salt intake is also known to raise blood pressure. Drinking too much of alcohol and cigarette smoking raises blood pressure and puts you at a higher risk for heart attack and stroke. So reducing these factors can help to reduce the further complications. Promptly treat your blood cholesterol and blood sugar levels. Limit foods high in saturated fat, such as cheese, fatty meats, and dairy desserts, tropical oils, and highly processed foods. I emphasize on a diet that includes fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, poultry, fish, and nuts, while limiting sugary foods and beverages. Finally, following an exercise plan and maintaining an ideal body weight is very important. By taking action to manage these risk factors, one can help protect themselves against incidences of heart attacks. On this note, I would like to conclude by saying that just by adhering to a healthy lifestyle, nutritious diet, and being compliant with your medications and regular prompt timely consultation with your doctor, you and your loved ones can lead a normal life. Stay hard healthy. Good day.